you are watching Homeschool Adventures. I'm so excited for this vlog because we are gonna go to a trip on a favorite rocket ship. Well, not really, it's a bus. <laughs> but for this vlog, we are gonna have a field trip with the fellow homeschoolers. So let's go. I'm really excited because I wanna know, how do they make the crayons? Two, what does a museum for kids look like? And three, what do they make in the Happy Factory? By the way, I might split this field trip into three episodes, so let's see how it goes. So now it's 8 a.m. and since Nusea Pombada is still closed, we're here at Rizal Park. Rizal Park is the monument of our national hero or the Philippines national hero, Jose Rizal. See, it's his monument. And here at Rizal Park, you can also see the tallest flagpole in the Philippines, over there! This flagpole is 150 feet. That is very tall, guys. Pombada is also known as Children's Museum and you can find it here in Manila. Let's go check it out. Getting out from our homeschool environment and going to a field trip uh, brings about a lot of things in their mind. Tulad ng ano, uh, kids in the bus, yung, uh, yung luneta, it's different for them. Usually a homeschool kid, di ba, sa bahay lang. Tapos most of the time, uh, in, in, my, in, my, in my case, sa office eh. So this, this field trip is different from their everyday thing. So parang nag open up sila. Yeah, my daughter's enjoying and we're, we're learning a lot. Yeah. She's not just learning through looking at things, but she's also interacting with other kids. So she can remember things easily. As new homeschoolers, we, we are trying to get a hang of it as of this time because we're actually struggling with our schedule. But we're loving it so far because we can learn at our own pace. So um, we take one, one day at a time to enjoy most of our time together. Pambata shows yung life noon and right now sa Araling Panlipunan, yun yung topic namin, yung paano namumuhay yung mga tao noon. So like yung bahay kubo, nakita niya, we were studying how um, houses were built on stilts and um, using nipa as the roof instead of ngayon yung parang bato na siya, cemento and then buildings. Yeah, so this is a nice place to, to come. Well, uh, educational tour or uh, field trip as they call it uh, can help a lot in children's learning because it's only the, the field trip is only an extension of their four corner room and they learn through uh, experience. This is really cool 
because if you answer the telephone, you're gonna hear a bit of history about the character. Like for example, this is Andres Bonifacio. Let's hear something about him. You have to press seven. <laughs> okay. So Andres Bonifacio is the father of the Katipunan movement. And the Katipunan movement aims to have independence. There you have it. Our Museo Pombata trip is over. I really love this museum because once you enter, you will learn all the subjects you learn in school. And that's one of the great things about homeschooling. You can take your learning everywhere. Now we're off to our next destination. If you want to know my next trip, why don't you check out the next episode? See you there!